In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite route for when your opponent is using the meta Mabel coverage in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is designed to help people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. And, uh, and if you have any questions, you can feel free to always hit me up via text. Uh, my number is 208-218-6900. Now today we are in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. I've got a really good video for you today talking about one of my favorite routes that I've really just recently discovered. And um, it's kind of a concept. You can do this out of multiple uh, formations and plays, but I just want to show you like two or three of those concepts in this video. And really what it is, is it's a, I'm going to start with a split close, which if you want to get my New England Patriots guide, the guide to the whole offense, you can get that down in the description. I believe this is going to be the best offense in Madden 22. And so I'm kind of getting a head start on preparing by, um, you know, working out of the New England Patriots book. But um, split close is where we're going to start. And then we're going to go to like a spread formation and show you can do the same thing with that. So um, I'm just going to use, it doesn't matter what play, it's a concept. Um, so we're just going to use halfback wheel. And again, this is where I like to go to when my opponent is running a lot of this look right here. You see that I'm giving a lot of Mabel coverage. And it's very simple, honestly. Um, what we're going to do um, is, is basically it's, it's, a, it's a table route or a swing route. It doesn't have to be either one combined with a hitch that is outside the numbers. So the hitch, the hitch route has to be outside of the numbers. So like in split close, you're just going to motion it out. So you're, it's going to look something like this. Now, as far as if you wanted to create like, you know, more routes on the play that are good. Honestly, this is a pretty good play as is. The only thing I would probably do is put the running back on an option route. Okay. But I'm just going to motion him. And this smash concept is a freaking ton of fun. So let's, uh, let's just motion this guy out and we'll show you this again. zone. So it's really good. You're going to see this flat's going to get pulled and look at that route right there. That's an easy, like seven yards. And the cool part about it is you can, you can use a flat route, but you can also use a corner route. So it's basically the smash concept. And I'll show you I can do this from multiple looks. Um, there's a play in split close called wide receiver corners. I'm not sure if I have it. I think I do. Uh, wide receiver corners here. You see that this square receiver is on a corner route. So I'm just going to block the running back here. And we're just going to work this side. Uh, so there's only going to be two routes that go to the left side. But you see here, I've got Godwin on the hitch. And again, I just got to get this hitch outside the numbers. And you'll see, get him out here, snap the ball, and look at this right here. Look at this hitch. I can throw that really, really easily. So I can throw that out of compression. I can motion into it. Um, there's another concept I can use out of like gun bunch that's really, really good. And what's cool is you can do this like halfback wheel is probably the best, the best play to do this out of because you get the corner route, and then you also have like you also have a lot of other things going your way. I just absolutely love this. This will beat any yellow in the game. So um, if I went to Tampa 2 and I decided to put, you know, a couple of purple, like a Mabel coverage out of this, right, with two purples, two yellows, and then uh, and then um, some deep blues, uh, just watch what happens here. So if I motion, again, just motion him out, and just watch how the corner, watch how they just pull the zones away from him. And as you can see here, it's an easy five to seven yards. This play has revolutionized the way that I beat Mabel coverage because Mabel coverage can be hard to beat. And this route right here, it has to be, in my opinion, um, it has to be to the, to the, it doesn't have to be the short side, but it's better to the short side. Um, I just, I just, I just think that um, the purple zones, whenever you run them to the wide side of the field, they are, I think, a little bit better. Now, uh, let me just show you some different zones. So, like, if I use a seam flat, you'll see here, uh, now what I'll do is I'll leave the running back on his route, or I'll just put him on a swing route, I guess. Um, so, if I'm getting him all the way out to the numbers... Snap it right there, and easy laser. Okay, now I would like I, like you saw though the wide side of the field does guard this better than the short side of the field. So let me show you another formation that you can do this out of. It's actually relatively simple um, and and actually really really effective. So um, again, just Mike Woods three here, and the other formation that I like to do this out of is like like wide off trips pats. Now you see here that I don't really have like. A ton of other concepts I can use the play scat I guess to break this down but what you can do and what I love about U trips is you could put either one of those players on a hitch so for example I could do something like this I could take the running back and put him on a swing route 
and then I could just simply motion this guy out. Okay, this is a really, really simple little play. Uh, we'll just do something like that on the back side. Just watch the square receiver. So here you see the vert hook does get him. So that's why I like the hitch. A hitch, he's not going to get out there. Um, sometimes a vert hook, he doesn't get out there. But most of the time, as you saw, oh, I'm sorry. I'm at the wide side of the field. My bad. That's my fault. So that's what I'm talking about, short side versus wide side. So short side of the field, um, you're going to see now it should be a little bit better. It might not just because he's on that scat route. But I just want to show, like, the fact that you can do this from a lot of different things. So if you watch this little scat route, this little square receiver, look, see, see how he sits there wide open in the zone? That's what I'm talking about. So you can do this out of so many types of looks. The other thing that I really like about this, and this is something that you can do um, specifically out of U-trips. I don't think you can do this out of anything else. I mean, you can do it out of some other stuff, but um, basically what we can do is I can take Brown and I can put him on a hitch, and then I could take uh, or I could take Brown and put him on a flat route. I could take Godwin and motion him over on a hitch. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to snap the ball right there when they're right behind each other. I find this to be a really, really good little route concept. So you can do this out of a uh, – it's a concept, though. It's basically hitch flat to the short side of the field. So now let me show you the way that you can implement this from spread and how you can pair two concepts within one concept out of one of my favorite, uh, my favorite route combos in the entire game. So as you can see here, I'm just going to come back out in the Mabel coverage, meta stuff. We're going to talk about it. Um, and we're just going to go and look for a play called Smash. Um, so you see here, spread by slot, Smash. This is the play that we're going to use. So it sounds good. And uh, what you're going to notice is I'm going to work the short side of the field. So all I have to do is, in essence, use the Smash concept. So now let me show you what this looks like from, a, from this perspective. And I just want you to watch. All you're going to do, it's a two-man read. And just watch this triangle receiver. Look at how he gets open. This is very, very unique, in my opinion, to the spread. Not every offense has this capability. A lot of times that when people try to get that player open on that corner route, a cover three Mabel will beat it because that Mabel comes, you either get hit by the flat or you'll get hit by the deep third. Um, what's really cool about these outside hitches when you run them from spread is they kind of make, I don't know why, but they just kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but they basically make the deep third go back. Um, and I think it's because, in essence, there's a vertical threat on their grid. And so they have to back up into that pocket because he's that vertical stimming route. But this is honestly one of my favorite concepts in the game right now. This two-man little smash concept is so good. Look at how that – look at that corner get wide open. I don't even need gunsling, and I'm throwing that right in every single time against the best defense in the game. The other thing that's really cool about this, though, is you can also throw your hitch. So you can throw both of them. That's what's really cool about how this works against Mabel coverage. So now uh, we get the same look, snap the ball. Now watch the square receiver. Low ball, dot, as you can see. Okay? Now to the wide side of the field, let me just cover that real quick. You're going to see that it's a little bit different. So when I run this concept to the wide side of the field now, uh, I just want you to watch what happens. So all I'm doing is just smart running the X. And he still gets open. You see it still works properly with the corner routes because these hitches are so good at pushing the zones. I think hitches are honestly like the most underutilized route in the entire game. They are so effective at like holding zone, like just so, so good. So now I want you to watch the circle receiver, though. You're going to see that um, that purple zone, if I try to throw that, it's going to be tight, right? It's not going to be a great look. So I don't like to throw that. Um, against that another little thing that I also like to do though and it's essentially um, It's kind of like a Y corner type of concept is what this will create But basically what I'll do is I'll shoot the back on a swing route to the back side So basically and that's actually honestly probably better if I just move the ball over um, To be honest just because of how this is gonna work So it's probably just work better if you do it like this because you can actually um, beat the blitz better like this but let's say for example um You've got this look right here. Your back's to the short side of the field. This pairs really nicely with some other concepts from spread. But all we're going to do is we're just going to put him on a table route to the short side. Okay, to the short side. Really important. Uh, and just watch. You'll see that zone gets pulled out. And now this hitch is even more open. You still have your corner route wide open, which is really cool because you, you now got all this opportunity. So now what you can do as a result of all of this is you can create a two-man backside concept that is really, really effective as well. For example, you could do something, and I love to do this. Um, this is one of my favorite little things to do from this concept. But basically what I'll do is I'll motion Evans 
Um, and I'll put, when I motion him, I'm putting triangle on a hitch. And then I'm putting Evans on a post. And then I'm going to motion him back. And this concept right here, I cannot tell you how good this is. This play is so good against Mabel coverage. They have to use it to the left side. They have to use it to the right side. And they just, they basically are never going to be right. You see that post does such a good job. Now, if you don't have Hot Rod Master, I understand. Um, if, we, there's still some things you can do. So what I would do, um, if I didn't have Hot Route Master out of this concept, and I still wanted to have a really, really good two-man read, uh, as you can see right here, typically the Mabel coverage will essentially flow to the side opposite of the back. I don't know why that is out of spread, but it is just is. What I would honestly do is simply a slant flat concept. This is really, really good. So basically what you're going to do is at the snap of the ball, you're just going to be looking where the where the grass is open but look at that right there look how open that gets now what i like about that slant is if their user goes down to cover the hitch all of a sudden that slant is wide open in the backside. last little uh addition to this concept that you can use is another really effective way to run this uh, and essentially what it is is it's basically um using the dig route flat combination so it's going to be like this right here this is completely without Hot Route Master. And this setup right here is really, really good. So again, you're just reading the defense and look at this dig. You can basically pass lead that up against pretty much anything. Beats man, beats zone. The 10 yard dig routes are one of the best routes in the entire game this year. So anyways, that is the uh, concept. Basically what you need is a short side hitch or a hitch to the short side of the field combined with either a corner route or a flat route and it will pull the zones out of the way and allow you to easily move the ball against the cover three Mabel. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get my full New England Patriots offensive guide where I break down every single formation in the New England Patriots playbook, then you can get that full guide in the description of this video.